What is going on guys? It's Eric Smith here from NicheScraper.com and in today's video I just want to do a quick walkthrough on how I pick winning products using NicheScraper using various tools on here just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on in my head and how you can utilize all the tools and all the features together to find your next winning product. Uh, for me personally I like to go by example which is why I'm making this kind of video so hopefully it'll help at least a portion of you out there who kind of learn in the same style. So to start, I usually had to head on over to Product Scraper, and I like to look at what other products, other stores are testing right now. So I will go to the Shopify product section, and I will filter on products that have been added in the past uh, one week, and I will make sure to only show stores that are verified drop shipping. So these are stores I can, you know, have products that I can find on AliExpress uh, pretty easily. All right. Um, so let me just scroll through here. You know, I haven't uh, really prepared this too much, so I don't know what product I'm going to pick. Uh, so bear with me if I make any mistakes or, you know, whatever. But um, so what I'm looking for is a product that kind of solves a problem that just looks interesting to me. Uh, these kitchen, I, I, and so I haven't had that much um, success selling just random kitchen items. So I kind of ignore those. It doesn't mean you won't, but um, I'm going to ignore those for now. Um, so let's see, Hygo Shop. Uh, is selling some cool stuff here. So they're selling a bathtub tray. I really like this because it has a really high price point. So they probably have a decently high margin. Uh, when you're running Facebook ads, you want to have a product that has a high margin because selling $5 products are pretty difficult uh, nowadays unless you're doing Google Shopping or something. So let me take a look at this and just see uh, some more information. So let me click on it. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find this product in AliExpress. So I'm just gonna click on the AliExpress button, search for it, <clears throat> and I can see there are a bunch here. Okay, so one right here. So wow. Okay, so they're getting crazy margins on this, I guess. Uh, I mean, this is only 20 bucks, and they're selling it for like 100. Um, though this one is 44 dollars, so I wonder what the difference is. They're probably different, um, but. Obviously it has good margin, I have a supplier for it. That's awesome. Um, now I just wanna ch kinda check out the competition. Uh, actually what I'll do first is I will go directly to uh, their page on Facebook and I will see if they are running ads for this product. Uh, that's re really what I like to do to see if they're running ads and how long they've been running for. Uh, because if they've been running them for a while, that means they're probably making sales on that product. Um, okay. So first things first, let me go to copy their URL, go to Facebook, I'll paste that in right here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I go shop. All right, I just gotta find their page, pages. Nope, I'm sure they have a, I know they have a Facebook page, so let me just, I go shop. There it is. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, this one right here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the name of their page. Go to the Facebook ads library. Uh, that's the URL right here. Type in the name, and then you can see what ads they are running right here. So they, I know the store specifically runs a lot of ads, so I'm just going to see if I can find. Um, okay, so they're not running ads for this product. That doesn't mean, nothing, doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with this product or anything like that, but... Um, there's no proof for me that I want to sell it. Um, one more thing I'll do is I will right click search Google for image and just see how many other results show up here. Um, it's a good way to see what other stores are selling. So there are a fair amount of other stores selling this product so it may be fairly competitive so I'll keep looking. Okay so let me close out all this junk I have now. <clears throat> da -da -da. Keep on looking. That's fine. I, I can sell something like that for Halloween, maybe when it gets closer. Um, what is this thing? Okay, so there's suddenly gets two aging mass. So maybe. All right. So one other uh, little tip I like to do. The reason I'm looking at the um, using the Shopify product scraper is these are very popular drop shipping stores. They are successful, very successful, so they know what they're doing. So all the products they're recently adding are products they are testing, um, and these are products they probably think will do well. 
you know, it's good to kind of fall on the backs or follow what people who are successful think will do well, right? They're the ones who are guessing, so they're the ones who are you know, spending the money to test these products. So we're really just kind of getting the benefit of seeing what they're testing uh, with their experienced eye. So that's what I like here. All these kind of products are already filtered out for us to be potential winners. Um, so I'm going to check out Daily Travel Vibes. And uh, I'm going to figure out their page name. And there it is. Copy it, if I can copy it, there we go. Go to ads library and check out their ads. So they have three ads running and they're all selling the same product and it's been running for over a month. Okay, so that is a great sign, right? So clearly clearly this product works. They're selling, you know, they have three different ads. Um, they've all been running for over a month. Uh, so that gives me an indication that this product is probably working pretty well for them. Um, going to their store analysis page, I can see that their best selling product is this, which is the same product. That's a really good sign. Um, okay. And they're selling, trying to sell, or they're testing two new products that are kind of similar, they're both like anti-aging sort of products. So clearly this one's working for them. It's a winning product for them. Let's check out more information on this product. So I'm gonna go back to a product, our AliExpress product scraper page and check it out on here. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can find it. Um, maybe like face mask, face mask. And that may be too broad, let me see. I think that's, that looks like it right there. Okay, so check this out, guys. It has been increasing over time. Look at that. So every day, someone's been increasing their ad spend probably and getting more and more orders. Low competition, good growth rate. Uh, top country is UK, so I can try targeting people in the United Kingdom. Um, they are selling this product, <laughs> that supplier is selling this product for 80 cents, which is super cheap. Um, but this person is selling it for like, what's the difference? Oh, two of them versus 10 of them. And this is one of them. Man, the margin on this is absolutely like awesome. Okay, so, all right. So yeah, they have a bunch of description or information here, product photos. Um, so they invested a lot of time in this. So this I think is a winner, honestly. This could be a one product store uh, product because it solves a problem. You know, there are a lot of women out there who worry about you know aging skin and want to solve it with this. So there is a you know, passionate audience, which is super important. That's one thing I didn't mention as well is I, I when I'm scrolling through and looking at these products, I'll skip the ones that I can't find a passionate audience for. Uh, if it's just like a regular phone case with no design, I'm not gonna try to sell that because I don't know who to target. This has a pretty specific audience. Um, it could be women who are you know 40 and above um, who purchase maybe some anti-aging creams or uh, they like influencers who are in involved in the anti-aging community. I don't know, something like that. Uh, but it's pretty easy to, to figure out how to target here. So uh, I would say this is a winner and that didn't take me very long at all. Um, you can kind of see my process. So to kind of, um, I guess, summarize, I went to Shopify products. I found newly added products by reputable successful stores. Um, I checked out if they were running ads for it. Um, and then I just double checked on AliExpress to see how it was doing. And you know, it seemed pretty good. And that's really all I need, need to know to start testing it. You know, there's no guarantee it's gonna sell, but I, you know, obviously it's working for this store, so there's no reason it can't work for me. I just have to basically test and find the right audience and build a, um, a good product page, have the right message that sells, and I will be good to go with this product. Um, and there are thousands and thousands of products out there like this, guys. It's, you know, people have a hard time finding winning products. It's not super complicated when you start doing the research. Um, obviously, if I was gonna start selling this, I would do a little more research, maybe check out reviews, um, see what people are saying about it on Facebook, things like that, but really, this is all I really need to know to go off of. So, my next step, I guess, would be to um, maybe try to find a supplier who has a product video. Um, let's see. So, I wanna try to find 
more of these on AliExpress. Let's see if they show up in my product scraper. So there are a few, there are a bunch here, and I want to find one with a video perhaps. So this is a different product, so uh, there may not be a supplier in our database that has a video. Uh, maybe one that ships from the US. Boom, look at this. US shipping, same product. Oh yeah, okay. This is awesome. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold back selling this product and I'll let whoever watches this video try to sell it. Um, you know, just be, be aware, you know, everyone else is going to try to test this product now too, but um, I think it's a pretty good product. <clears throat> so anyways, that's all I would do. Um, since I couldn't find a product video, I might go to Video Ad Maker and just add some of these um, pictures here as in a slideshow and just test it and uh, see how it goes. So that's my process, guys. Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully that helps some of you guys out figure out what to do. I'll see you in the next video.